Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to create this kind of logo. Let's make a new document. Go to Artboard tool and select Show Center Mark. Change the fill color to white and stroke color to black. Select Ellipse tool and holding Shift Alt key on your keyboard Draw a circle. Control Shift A to deselect. Go to Type tool and click anywhere on the artboard. Let's change the size of the text to 7 inches. With the text tool selected, type the letter S. Using the selection tool, bring the letter in front of the circle. Holding Shift Alt key on your keyboard, resize the letter. Make sure the end corners don't touch the circle. With the letter selected, go to Object and select Expand. Deselect, select All, go to Align Window, choose Vertical Align Center and Horizontal Align Center. Go to Pathfinder and select Minus Front. Adjust the position. Change the stroke color to None and fill color to Purple. Select All. Go to Effect, 3D and select Extrude and Bevel. Change position to front, check the preview box and set perspective to 138. Go to object and select expand appearance. Right-click and select Ungroup. And now we are going to create a gradient. Select the right shape, open the gradient window, and adjust colors. Choose purple and white. Change type to radial. Select the gradient tool, click and drag over the selected part. Use the gradient slider to adjust the color. Go to Selection tool and select the inner part of the shape. Go to Gradient tool again, click on the part and apply the gradient. Go to Selection tool and select second part. Let's change the color of the gradient. Choose yellow and move it to the gradient slider.
Select the gradient tool and adjust the gradient. Go to selection tool and select the inner part of the yellow shape. Go to selection tool and holding the shift key on your keyboard, select the inner parts. Go to Pathfinder and select Unite. Go to Object and select Expand. Press Ctrl-0 to see the whole page. Go to Gradient tool and apply the gradient. Close the gradient window. Now let's add a blending mode effect. Select the purple part, go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in front, Object, Path and select Offset Path. Set Offset to minus 1. Go to Transparency window and select Blending Mode to Screen. Change the opacity to 40%. Select the yellow part and repeat the process. Go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in front, Object, Path, Offset Path. Select Offset to minus 1. Set Blending Mode to Screen and Opacity to 40. Select All, right-click and choose Group. Move it to the left. Now we are going to create the center part of our logo. Open the Gradient tool and choose Black and White Gradient. Adjust Type to Radial. Change the black color to gray. Go to Ellipse tool and holding the Shift Alt key on your keyboard, draw a circle. Select and move it in front of the logo. Right click, select Arrange, Send to Back. Select All, move it to the center. Click on the gray circle and adjust the size. Deselect, select all, go to Align window, choose Vertical Align Center and Horizontal Align Center. Deselect, select the gray circle and adjust the gradient. Select all and resize it. Move it to the left and deselect. Now we are going to create a shadow. Go to Ellipse tool and draw an ellipse. Change the color to black. Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste in front. Resize it. Change the opacity to 0. Right click, select Arrange, Send to Back. Go to Object and select Blend, Blend Options. 
change spacing to specified steps and type 28. Go to Object, Blend, Make. Change the black color to gray. Resize. And move. And now we will add text. Go to Type Tool, change the size to 1 and type Simple. Select and adjust the size. Change the font style to bold. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.